I found 17 easy hire work from home jobs that do not require any experience for you. And all that I ask in return is that you gently boop the like button or cheers the like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an appraisal coordinator. And this is somebody who basically manages and schedules appointments for field assistance. And they mainly work in the insurance and real estate industries. And a really fun fact about the real estate industry is around one in 10 Americans have actually sold their home because of paranormal activity. So yeah, fun fact there. And appraisal coordinators make about 53 to $76,000 a year. So pretty good money. EXL is currently hiring for this one. You can go to this link and click search jobs. Once you're in the job board link, simply type appraisal coordinator. For this position, the company pays $13 per hour and it's an easy hire since they will provide a robust training program. You definitely need strong communication skills, good organizational skills, and basic tech proficiency. And other than that, knowledge of the real estate industry definitely helps as well. But yeah, relatively easy to land this one with no experience. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an internet raider. And this is somebody who basically ensures the accuracy and relevancy of search engine or social media results. And companies like Google, Bing, Facebook, et cetera, will actually pay these people to improve user search experience. Now, the average salary for this one is about $87,000 a year, but there are some positions you can move into which make up to $132 to $247,000 a year. So this one has some really good positions at the lower level and also some positions that you can move into at an upper level. And one type of search engine is, of course, the thing you're watching right now, YouTube. And YouTube is incredible. I absolutely love it. It's completely changed my life. Because of YouTube, I was able to quit my stressful nine to five job as a pharmacist. I was able to make enough money to retire in my 20s. And now I only have to work about four hours per week to maintain this YouTube channel. And I'm able to travel the world anywhere that I want. And if you would like to do the same thing, I actually have a live training where I'm basically just giving away all of my YouTube secrets completely free. This is my way of giving back to the community. I want other people out there to also have success on YouTube. And you can check that live training out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below because it will be happening this week within the next seven days. And you can click that link to see exactly when it's going to be. And by the way, if you watch this in the future, that same link will tell you when the next live training will be. But I don't know how long I'm going to be doing these live trainings. It's really fun right now. Hundreds of people show up. So make sure you click the link and attend while you still can. But yeah, Internet Raider is really good. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. This company may have mixed reviews, but a lot of people said that the jobs here are still working for them. So you can check out the opening for internet raiders. Companies like TELUS also hires a similar role. Next is going to be a remote recruiter. And this is somebody who basically screens and sources candidates for various different roles for companies. And these types of companies range from startups to large corporations. And it's accessible for those without previous experience. And it offers a great introduction to HR and the recruitment field. And remote recruiters make about 78 to $138,000 a year. So this is a very high paying job and it can be incredibly lucrative. And it's also relatively easy to get into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Now, you basically need to have really good communication skills. You need to be really good at searching for people. You got to have basic tech skills and an eye for detail. So really like this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote life coach associate. And this is kind of a funny one. This is somebody who basically assists in professional and personal development. And you will work mainly with coaching firms or independent life coaching contractors. And believe it or not, this industry is worth about $3 billion. And life coaches make about 79 to 143 thousand dollars a year. And speaking of coaching, if you would like me to coach you on how to grow and make money from YouTube, just like I have, I do coach a small handful of people every year. And you can apply for that. I, I do have to warn you, I'm very picky about who I work with because I have very limited time. But you can apply for that by clicking the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. Additionally, on that same page will be my story as well as some free training. So definitely click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to check it out. So yeah, this one's kind of funny. Um, You know, I'm sure there's some great life coaches out there, but I think a lot of them out there are just a little goofy if you ask me. But yeah, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities for you. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. Next is a remote telephone interviewer. And this is basically where you conduct surveys over the phone in order to do market research. And in some cases, you might also work with polling agencies. And this is kind of like being a detective of public opinion, uncovering truths one call at a time. And this is ideal for somebody who enjoys conversation and flexibility, all from the comfort of their home. Now, tell Telephone interviewers make about thirty-four to fifty thousand dollars a year, and in order to be good at this, you have to be very good at clear communication, basic computer skills, and attention to detail when you're noting things down. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So overall, this one's really easy to land as a job. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life because most people get really annoyed when people call them for their surveys or polls. But I'm going to give this one a seven out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote insurance agent. This is somebody who helps people to choose their best insurance policies 
for their particular needs. And they also offer ongoing support to clients. And these roles are usually offered by insurance companies or independent agencies. And you're kind of like the financial lifeguard, ensuring your client's financial well-being through life's unfortunate circumstances. Now, this is a role with great flexibility. It also offers potential for high earning, and you have an opportunity to make a real difference in people's lives. And a fun fact here is insurance is actually 4,000 years old. Now, insurance agents can make really good money, about 121 dollars to $170,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. And the craziest thing is you do not need a college degree or previous experience to get into this. However, this is kind of like a sales type role, so you do need to have sales skills. By the way, comment down below your absolute favorite job on this list in this video that you watched today. I read the comments and, you know, I might dive in deeper on that job if you do. So yeah, this one's really good. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a tax preparer. And this is somebody who assists individuals and businesses in accurately preparing and filing their taxes. And they're commonly employed by accounting firms, tax preparation companies, and they sometimes work independently. And they make about 46 to $69,000 a year. Now, sometimes this can be a seasonal role where they hire you in certain parts of the season that are much busier, like tax season. And you need to be detail oriented, good with numbers, and you need to know how to use Excel. Plus, it's good to have strong communication skills and be familiar with the tax system. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. But yeah, relatively easy to get into it. Uh, don't need to have a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a placement coordinator. And this is somebody who matches candidates with suitable job opportunities. And they basically organize the recruitment process for those candidates. And they often focus on finding the right fit for both the company as well as the employee. And these professionals are typically hired by staffing agencies, educational institutions, and large corporations with ongoing recruitment needs. And placement coordinators make about 46 to $74,000 a year. So this is definitely one of those careers where you're going to be interacting with people all the time, but most of it can be done remotely, if not all of it. And you basically need to be a good judge of someone's character. But yeah, this one's really easy to get into. doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Typically, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities for you. I'll put them up on the screen. By the way, think of somebody in your head who could use this video, someone who needs a job, someone who basically needs some guidance, and then share this video with that person. It could end up changing their life. And I also appreciate it because I don't have a big organization where I'm just marketing this left and right. I don't spend money on ads or, or shout outs or anything like that. So I like to grow this organically. So I really appreciate it. And we put an insane amount of effort into every single one of these videos. For instance, this one was 87 pages of research. So if you appreciate our effort, go ahead and share this with someone else. Next is going to be a remote solar consultant. And this is somebody who educates potential customers in the benefits of solar energy. And they guide them through the decision making process and they show them which products they should buy. So this is absolutely a sales job. And with sales jobs, you can make a ridiculous amount of money. For instance, solar consultants make about $155,000 to $282,000 a year. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Now, with that being said, uh, this is a little bit harder to land with absolutely no sales experience. So I recommend a different career if you're absolutely new to sales and you've never had a job before. And then you can move into these higher level ones such as solar consultant. And this career is known as tech sales. Now, I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to land jobs in tech sales with absolutely no experience, no college degree, etc. And they're all able to do it through the company course careers. And they actually have a free training where they go over exactly what tech sales is, the different tech sales roles, which ones would be best for you, and which ones would be best based on your personality as well. And you can check out that free training by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So yeah, love sales job. I think everybody should do at least one sales job during their lifetime. Yeah, and you can also feel really good about doing solar consulting because solar energy is awesome. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, that job I was talking about tech sales, the entry level role is called sales development representative. And that's the next one I'm going to talk about on the list. This is basically a job where you do the initial outreach for people, or you're the one who makes the initial first contact with them. And basically you have two jobs, one to qualify the person to make sure that they're good for the product. And two, to hand them off to an account executive or a closer that is going to handle their account. And if that person ends up signing up for a contract, you get a percentage of the contract. Now, some companies do this differently where you actually do the outreach and you do the closing, but typically you start with just doing the outreach, which is a bit simpler. And SDRs make 87 to $153,000 a year. And it's much more of an accessible and easy to land role. So this one, I'm going to give a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Again, check out the free training in the description in the pinned comment below. Absolutely love this one. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a finance associate. And finance associates work remotely to manage clients' financial needs. They also help to process policies and they support their team's training. And these roles are frequently available in financial institutions, consulting firms, and corporate finance departments. And finance associates make about 63 to $100,000 a 
a year. So here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Now, this one does typically require a degree, but a lot of the time it does not require previous experience. And so a lot of people who are sort of a type personalities and people who want to make a ton of money go into finance in roles like this. And then later on down the line, they try to rise into higher level roles. So yeah, this one's great. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a property and casualty producer. And this is somebody who basically remotely connects with clients to set up appointments and other needs. And this is basically for insurance related needs. And these roles are primarily found in insurance agencies and brokerage firms. And in this position, you make about 64 to 116 thousand dollars a year. And it's relatively easy to land this type of job. So here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, this one's good. A little harder to land than some of the other ones. I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I think only about 18% of you are subscribed. The rest of you are lurkers. Don't be a lurker. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Next is a remote audio data collector. And this is somebody who plays a crucial role in refining voice assistant technology. And they do this by recording sentences in various different car setups or other types of noisy setups. And they basically aim to enhance voice command systems such as Siri. Hey, Siri. And they make about 68 to $126,000 a year. And yeah, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, another one, super new age job. This has only been around for the last few years. This is the only channel that is going to bring you jobs like this. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Come on. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a fun one. I like to throw these fun ones in here every once in a while. And that is a remote chess tutor. So if you're someone who's really good at chess, or if you're someone who's even an intermediate, you could make a really good chess tutor or chess coach. So I actually love chess myself. I especially started following it again after uh, the Queen's Gambit came out. And I found that I couldn't really learn all that much from people that are really good like Hikaru Nakamura. I would watch his content and I just wouldn't understand his thought process because he's so advanced. However, lower level chess coaches were able to help me out. I would follow their content on YouTube and I got a lot of value from it. And there are people that are absolutely crushing it, making close to $10 million a year by making chess content on YouTube. So you can make a full-time income from this or you could just do it part-time like this person who makes $400 to $500 a month doing it. And yeah, it's another one of those new age careers. And chess teachers in general make about sixty-five dollars to $118,000 a year. And the funny thing is, a lot of the time chess teachers and chess coaches make more than professional chess players which is kind of hilarious and also kind of sad but yeah this one's interesting uh probably not good for like 99 percent of people out there but i like to throw these cool ones in there i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score so here's some opportunities you can pause the video if you'd like next is an appointment generator this is somebody who reaches out to potential clients a lot of the time you're cold calling cold emailing or cold messaging them and you create opportunities for the sales team and you try to set calls with them and this role is crucial in various different types of industries from tech to healthcare and appointment generators make about 61 to $111,000 a year. And you absolutely do not need previous experience or a college degree. And here's some opportunities. You can pause the video if you'd like. So yeah, another sales job, really good one. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a junior systems manager. And this is somebody who helps to optimize IT systems. IT stands for information technology, and they basically ensure seamless operation and provide essential support for the company's technology systems. So there's a bunch of these different IT related roles, almost all of them are very easy to get into, typically do not require a college degree. And all you really need to be is tech savvy. So if you're a tech savvy type of person, you like setting stuff up, you like, you know, you know building computers and stuff like that, this could be a great role for you. And they make about 68 to $121,000 a year. So if you're doing this stuff for fun in your free time, might as well get paid to do it. Of course, it does require basic IT knowledge, you have to have good problem solving skills, and you have to be a good communicator. But yeah, really good one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score because I think there's tons of opportunities opportunities for IT related careers, and they're super easy to get into. Here's some opportunities for you. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. Next is going to be an insurance verification representative. This is basically like the gatekeeper of a fortress where you verify the credentials of everyone who wishes to enter. And basically you're tasked with pre-qualifying customers that are applying for insurance related services, and you ensure their eligibility and readiness to be passed on to an insurance agent. And they make about 37 to $51,000 a year. Super easy job to land. Doesn't really require a college degree or previous experience. Probably not something you want to do forever, but it's also a really good sort of foot in the door and in getting into the insurance industry. And also it's a bit of a sales related job as well. So you get experience in both of those things and that industry is great. And of course the skill of sales is incredible too. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. So yeah, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did a video that got over a million views. It was the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. Definitely want to check it out by clicking right here.